Hi guys, Steph here. Okay, now for you eagle-eyed viewers, regular viewers, you would have seen this pen here on my recent pen haul. Look at that, very nice indeed. Just needs a little bit of TLC. And after that TLC, here's the pen and pencil in question now you can see it comes in the original box unfortunately just a little bit on the tatty side but well that has helped to to keep the pen and pencil in this beautiful condition you can see nice and simple to the back there we've got Esther Brook so let's take the pen and the pencil out let's get the box pop it to one side and look at that, <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. What we've got nice and simple is a fountain pen and pencil. And these are the, well, it's actually the bronze pearl Estabrook J double jewel, as we'll show in a moment. Um, the full size Estabrook. When I say full size, the reason being the J's were made in three different variants. This one, as I say, is a standard J. They also made a LJ, which was a slender version, and what they term as an SJ, which was a demi version. But as I said, what we've got for you here, there you go to the bottom. And to the top, we've got the double jewel standard J fountain pen. And as I said, it comes in this gorgeous, gorgeous uh, copper, copper colour. Now, I believe the colours, this I believe was the copper two. They also brought out, I believe, um, sorry, no, this was the, yeah, sorry, the copper two. Um, and I believe they brought out a copper one which was more of a brownish colour. Okay, so, yeah, for all intents and purposes, a copper to Estabrook. Now, as you can see, it's a lever-filled fountain pen there. You can see it's got this uh, chrome or stainless steel, well, trim all around the lever there. If we take you up to the, to the cap there, you can see the cap has got this quite a sort of broad cap band as you can see there to the very top we've got this Estabrook clip with the word Estabrook written down down the clip as you can see there now I'll try and show you I don't know if you'll be able to see it, although well in the hand it's nice and clear you can see it but um, the imprint on this one reads quite simply just Estabrook uh, and then it's got the registered trademark next to it and then made in USA and that also applies to the pencil that's also got Estabrook made in USA so they are matching pen and pencil um, one of the ways to dis distinguish the standard J if you look at the uh, jewel to the top you can see it's a little bit bigger than the jewel to the bottom there okay now let's unscrew the cap for you let's show you the pen in numerous different angles absolutely gorgeous now this particular set was um yeah it was reserved subject to restoration uh by a viewer now, when I say restoration, it didn't. It was actually, they were both in lovely condition as they were. What I've done, simply um, taken everything apart, cleaned everything internally. We've put a new sack in the pen. Um, and in this particular case, um, when I actually sort of took it all apart, etc., what I actually found was that the original nib... I don't know if you can actually see it, had little remnants of rust just to the bottom of the nib and just to the middle there. So I wasn't too happy with it. So I thought, right, 
what I'll do, I ordered a, a replacement nib which came yesterday and there we go, this is the replacement nib which I've now put into the pen here. Now the replacement nib reads Estabrook 2556 which tells us and also it tells us on the box there it says well these particular Estabrook nibs as you can see were actually called Renew Points. If I turn it round you can see it says 2556 fine or firm fine. So it's a firm, fine nib. Let's show you the feed underneath. There we go. As I say, a brand new replacement nib. So the customer is ready to go and write with it. Now, so that's the fountain pen. The pencil, well, you know I'm a, I'm a pen person. So very briefly, there's the the pencil itself again in this gorgeous um, copper copper color it has the Estabrook made in USA imprint also the stainless steel trim and this is what we term as a clutch pencil ie if I press down on the top okay there you go hopefully you can see the lead coming out of the the cone to the front there okay inside it's been clean the eraser is obviously aged because well I say aged this particular pen and pencil are from the late 1940s okay so late 1940s but what beautiful condition now what we'll do because as I say, it's been reserved, so I don't want to fill the pen. But while well, we've got the pencil in our hand. So there we go. Est whoops a daisy. So Esther. Is that the last of the uh nope, still got some more there. So Esther Brook. Pencil, as we said, late 1940s. So as you can see, in full working order. As for the pen, as I said, I'm not going to fill it because I'm going to leave that pleasure to the new owner. But what we'll do, we'll do a dip test just to see how it writes. So once again, we've got an Esther Brook fountain pen made in USA writing very nicely indeed and as it says on the box writing with a fine fine line so let's just give that a little bit of a wipe we'll clean that after the video ready for shipping so there we have it oh let's just show you here okay so there you go you've got the pencil and the pen in lovely condition and in full working order as we've just said so there we have it I'm going to keep it at that a beautiful copper Estabrook J series double jewel with fountain pen and pencil in full working order and the nice thing about these Estabrooks nice and simple for you people that have not actually looked into them although they were actually quite inexpensive at the time they're absolutely superb quality made fountain pens and pencils they're actually superb and another nice thing about these as you've just seen you can interchange the nibs to whatever your preference of writing is and lastly the colors they came in lots of different colors so they make a nice pen to collect to see if you can collect all the different colors 
cracking cracking pens so we'll leave it at that so all i'm going to say at this moment in time is slavo ukraini don't forget leave a comment below don't be shy subscribe to the channel just down there give the video a thumbs up if you will but for now from me and these Estabrook pen and pencils I'm just going to say bye bye for now